Hello guys, Matthew here from UChat. So in today's video, I'm going to show you about the WhatsApp tem template message. I believe that UChat is one of the first platform that support you to send the template message in WhatsApp channel. So what we will cover today is first I will go through the basic of, you know, different types of WhatsApp messages. And then I will show you how to step by step, how to build a template how to get it approved and then how to use uh, how to send the approved template message in WhatsApp channel. So let's uh, get started about the first the basic of WhatsApp messages. So the WhatsApp messages they are basically there are two different type of messages. One is called session message. Okay. And another is what we're going to cover today is a template message. So for the session message is that usually this conversation is initiated by the user. For example, the user scan your QR code, send your keywords, or click one of your ref URLs, right? Then that's, then that's when the session starts. And once the session starts, it, you will have the 24 hour window like the WhatsApp, like the Facebook channel. You can send unlimited messages in between these 24 hours. And this includes the session message and also includes the template message you can send. Okay, this is a free. And the bot can send, um, the session window will reset after every user engaged with your bot. For example, um, once once uh, the last interaction of the user with your bot, right? Once it's out of 24 hour window, you cannot send, right? But imagine that um, you are sending the emails or um, you are sending the ads and then you pull the user back in with your chatbot once they are engaged and then it opens up another, you know, 24 hour window for you. That's why you need to you know, grab your uh, user's email and SMS just in, just in case they are out of the 24 hour window. And then you can send uh, them messages and emails to re-engage with them. So that's the session message. So what is the template message? So let me show you. The template message is sent, you can actually send the template message out of 24 hour window. Okay. And the template message you need to submit to WhatsApp, uh, to Facebook to get it approved before you can send. Okay. That's another thing. And the most recently, uh, Facebook just allow you to send the promo promotional messages in this template. Previously it's not allowed. I think Facebook is finally starting to monetize the WhatsApp channel. So a lot of uh, uh, new, new, new measures are introduced in this channel. And also this template message can include images, documents, and videos. And you can insert, you can define different variables in this template message. For example, the customer's name, customer email, uh, customer's phone number, and the all the ID and all those details that is available in your chatbot, you can build those variables in the templates. Okay. And most importantly, you can have the buttons in the template message. That is the only chance, uh, not the only chance. That's the chance that you can add the URLs at the buttons. Okay. And also it takes uh, six hours around six hours, but in, Practice, it will be much faster. I think um, maybe minutes, I think usually. It will get your template approved, uh, you know, approval, get your template approved. And there are different categories of the messages allowed in a template message. So we will go through it briefly. So you can send it, you know, in different, this is the categories that WhatsApp support. Uh, account update, alert update, appointment update, issue resolution, payment update, personal finance update, reservation update, shipping update, ticket update, transportation uh, update. So this is the categories 
when you submit the template message, you need to choose one of these templates. So now we covered. Um, let's let's go through how to actually build these template messages. Okay. So now let's go back. So how to use WhatsApp template message? First is you actually need to build this template, get approval from WhatsApp in the business service provider. Okay, for us um, currently 360 Dialog and WA Team, I think they are using the same um, backend, same um, they, are, they are all based on 360 Dialog. So you need to log in your 360 Dialog and you need to build a template there and get it approved over there. And the next step is you go to UChat, you go to the um, content. I will show you a little bit later and you can sync the template back. OK, that is only the approved template will be sent back in UChat. And after you sync the content back to the UChat platform, you can actually send this template in the flow builder. OK, so let me show you step by step. Let me share my screens here. I'm showing I'm I'm going to show you how to set this up with 360 dialogue. OK, you need to log in your 360 dialogue backend. That is hub dot 360.com. OK, so once you log in, uh, this is the dashboard, right? You can go to this WhatsApp account and click over here. And then as you, you can click uh, the show details. And here there is a tab is called templates. OK, you actually build the template over here and then submit to to WhatsApp, to Facebook to get it approved. And then let me show you first, uh, we will add a template. OK, so we will make it a very simple one is order confirmation okay let's just use order confirmation live demo so you can actually this is all the categories um you need to select okay this is all the category we just go through so usually this is the by default you just choose auto reply so actually, this template can support different languages, right? So you can actually build the um, template in each and every language. For me, I'm going to use this uh, English language. And this is a template type. You can just only send the text. And also, you can send you know, images, videos, and the audios. So over here, that is a much more interactive template. You can have the header, so I will just uh, say thank you for your order. And here is how you can add the variables. So you can just uh, double curly bracket and then type number one and close it with curly bracket. So. Once you type that in, you will see that this is one variable is used. OK, they only support one variable in the header. And uh, in the body, I will just type here is your order detail. Click the button below to find out. I don't know if they support any um, variables here anymore. Maybe not. Maybe it's only in the header. So let's just um, remove that. And I will leave the footer empty. OK, so here the buttons, you can actually add the quick reply and also you can add the call to action. Call with the call to action, you can add the URL, website URL. Uh, behind these buttons. So we will just uh, add, you know, add a call to action and we will insert a URL. So uh, we just uh, click the button below. Click, click the button. 
and with this button variable is is a little different okay the button variable consists uh, two parts one is the um, url and after that is um, uh, is a variable for example this is the format you need to have a cons consistent um, website uh, URL and uh, also a variable after that. For example, let me show you. This will be looks like, for example, let me type. This is um, uchat.com.au. Usually that would be a slash and the pricing and um, you know uh, features or something like that and this is the part that is consistent you cannot change this part you can only add the variables after that okay and when you submit when you submit to facebook to get it approved you need to show the actual uh, url you are going to this part you cannot change anymore when you submit the template okay this is the only variable that you can change after it get approved so for example this one uh, already finished now let's um, let's preview to see if we have any problems so over here once you click the preview the um, you actually need to provide example values for example uh, i will create a name uh, for the button URL, I will just uh, provide the price. I think it's a price. Let's submit. Okay, so now as you can see, this order confirmation live demo is submitted. So as you can see with that URL, um, I do not need to type the front you know the uchat.com.au anymore i just need to provide the variable okay whether it's pricing whether it's features the uh, the, the 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 last part of the url okay so that is uh, something you need to keep in mind okay so usually um it takes um someone says it takes uh, six hours or eight hours um you know to get approved but in my own experience, it's, um, sometimes it's much faster. It's uh, like the minutes. So usually uh, five minutes or something like that. Once I refresh, it will get approved. So that is also depending on the message uh, you are trying to. As you can see, uh, once I refresh this template, all the confirmation live demo is already approved. Okay, As you can see, all this is a green. So it's only take me one minute or something like that it gets approved so now it's next step okay once you get the template submitted and approved you need to go to uchat dashboard so let me show you let's go back to uchat and you need to go to the whatsapp channel and currently only 360 dialogue support the template um, you know, we UChat only support 360 and the WA team. And then once you go to the WhatsApp channel, you go to the content and, and then you go to the message templates. Okay. Over here, this is all approved template. Once you click this sync WhatsApp template, click that. So every template that is approved will send back in, will sync back in to your account. As you can see, this is a new order confirmation live demo I just created and get approved. Now it's in this message template. So once you see this, you can actually start using to send these template messages. For example, I can go to um, the flow builder and we will build a template message flow. So I will just use, uh, this is template. And here in this, in this flow, you are going to use send a message. And then you can choose this. That is a new option is called message, message template. Okay. And then add that you can select 
um, the template message, the template just uh, got approved. So over here, you can replace all these variables with your custom fields. For example, here I'm going to replace with the variable is first name and this URL. Remember, here you do not need to put the full URL. Okay, you just need to put the variable that at the end of the URL. Okay, for example, um, the for example, this is the template. Uh, this is the URL I used to submit variable, right? So I use this one to submit as a template, right? I do not need to include this one. I only need to include what is after that URL. So over here is pricing. So this is um, our UChat website, official website pricing. So I just need to use this. And then you just save this. And then I will send another message is called click the button below above. Okay, so let me publish and also let me set up the trigger as uh, contains pricing price and then select the new template flow we just built so now let me share my mobile screen and i will show you how this template messages looks so as you can see i go to my whatsapp Right, I will just type pricing price and send and I will receive the the message. As you can see, um, as you can see here is thanks for your order Matthew that is already replaced with the custom variable. OK, and once I click this button, it will get, take me to you chat dot com dot au slash pricing so as you can see the link is taking you over here continue it will open this uh, website for me okay so basically that is how you can uh, how you can actually send a template message and i just want to to mention that if you go to the templates and over here when you are preview right and for example you can just use pricing over here and you can click this button and you can see it is redirecting to this pricing page so this is a little different the url the button url this variable it works uh, is a little different with uh, the variable in header in the body and all that so that is something you need to keep in mind. And also you need to sync the uh, sync the template into the UChat. And then you can use this template message in the flow builder. Okay. So that's um, that's for today. And uh, that's for today's video. And I will show you guys um, uh, in my next video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.